From midnight this Wednesday, masks will be compulsory in Victoria. All adults living in Melbourne and the Mitchell Shire will be required to cover their face every time they leave the house or cop a $200 fine. Let's take this one to the pulse with hypnotist Matt Hale and Nova 937's Madeleine Hubbard. Hi, guys. Hello there. Hello. <laughs> Matt, we'll start with you. Now, people are using face shields as well as masks. Do you think these regulations will lower case numbers? Well, look, I mean, look, I'm a hypnotist, I'm not a science expert, I'm not a data analyst. I will always defer to those people who know. And of course, if they're saying this is going to stop, it's going to prevent, it's going to stop the spreading, it's going to lower cases, it's going to save lives. Come on, let, let's, let's defer to these people. Hey? No, absolutely. It makes sense, doesn't it? Matt's yeah. kids under 12 don't have to wear them, which also makes sense. But it's, it's still a scary new development in, in Australia, isn't it? Yeah, it is scary. I mean, especially considering our government's told us that it was safe to, for our kids to go back to school. It's obviously a very different situation in Melbourne. But um, sort of looking at it, they're telling us that under twos shouldn't wear masks, which makes sense. Of course, it's a choking hazard. And look, anyone who's got a toddler can attest to the fact <laughs> they won't stay on. To get a mask on them. <laughs> not going to stay on. Um, and then, you know, two to 12, it sounds like it's up to the parents, really. Yeah. It's not going to be enforced. Um, yep. But, you know, hopefully common sense prevails. Yeah, I'm with you. Do what you're told. Let common sense prevail. Yeah. Absolutely. Now, let's talk about KFC, guys, because it's <laughs> reinventing the chicken nugget with a Russian 3D bioprinting firm. It's wanting to try and make them lab produced. The technology would print the meat using chicken cells and plant material. Of course, Matt, yeah, of course. they're calling it the quote meat of the future. Yeah. Would you eat it? Yeah, well, absolutely. If you put of the future after anything, <laughs> I'm on board. Right? Really? <laughs> yeah. Oh. I mean, the, uh, the only problem I have is, like, how good is their printing technology? I know if I get a few pieces of paper jammed up, it's a mess. If, you, if you've got nuggets clogging your, clogging your printer, you've got a big problem. <laughs> so. You run out of ink. Yeah, no, I understand. Yeah. I, like, I like where your head's at on that. But we know, Mads, it's not vegetarian, but the company says it would be more environmentally friendly. Mm. Not quite sure how that works. What do you yeah. think? Yeah, i got to say, when I first saw this story I was kind of like oh, vomit um, <laughs> but the more I got into it yes it is apparently could possibly you know have a positive environmental impact which is a good thing um, I just don't know it feels a bit like we're playing God we're yeah. making this half plant <laughs> half meat creature in a lab like, <laughs> I, don't know. I just think it sounds that. gross I don't know. it just I doesn't think... sound natural to me <laughs> the proof will be in the in the nuggets. nuggets. <laughs> People yeah. might like it and it might work or they just can't bring themselves to eat it. Yeah, well, we'll see what happens and maybe we'll try it, maybe we won't. <laughs> and finally, guys, have you ever lost something after a big night out? Because one man has gone old school, posting notes on signs all around the suburb in the US, trying to find his 2007 Toyota Camry after getting a little <laughs> bit too drunk one night. Now, Mads, have you ever lost something as big as a car? Oh, yeah, my dignity. <laughs> 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 no, nothing that big, Luke. Nothing that big. The biggest thing I think I've ever lost was a pair of oversized Chanel sunglasses at the court at a staff Christmas party. Okay. Um, never to be seen again. Hopefully oh. they've found a new home. Someone loves them and is wearing them about oh, town. So that <laughs> is a pretty out. big loss. Matt, look, we've all lost. I've, you know, left my phone in a taxi a few yeah. times. Yeah. What have you lost on a yeah, night Yeah, I'm going to go with the car as well. I know this sounds ridiculous. I didn't actually lose it. If you've ever done one of those things where you were always parked in the same place, I was in a certain uh, car park and I was going around, what floor was it? Was it Eagle? Is it Kangaroo? Is it Crocker? <laughs> Is it Crab? Right. I'm running around, running around, and then suddenly, like, I Ubered in. Uh -huh. I Ubered yeah. in. Oh. We've <laughs> so, all been there. You know, We've all done it. So a temporary loss of the car. Guys, love it. I'm glad we're all in the same boat. Mads, Matt. Great to have you on The Pulse this afternoon. See you next time. Cheers. Thanks, Lou. <laughs>